the most successful NFT project ever just went public by releasing their own token called Ape. They airdrop their token to every single board Ape holder as well as mutant Ape holder. And if you don't know what an airdrop is, think of it as a free gift. This airdrop was one of the largest airdrops ever. Some examples of how large this airdrop was, was in the thousands of dollars. Here's one user that is showing his wallet with 2042 ape, which was equal to $15,000 at the time. Here's another user showing his airdrop after being converted to Ethereum for a total of $81,000. He got this just for owning an NFT. No, stop. What are you doing? 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 Oh yeah, but you could right click save money, right? Now, how is this part of the metaverse you might ask? Well, Yuga Labs plans on building a game around their NFTs as well as incorporating land and continuing to build value for NFT holders. They recently partnered with a public venture capital firm, Animoca Brands, to improve gaming in the metaverse. Yuga Labs is planning on doing a capital raise at about $5 billion, making that the largest NFT project ever. They are so successful that they bought the rights to CryptoPunks, which was one of the first popular NFT projects. And then after that, they went and they bought MeBits, which is another fantastic NFT project that is very successful. Another note, both of these projects were created by Larva Labs. With the recent buyout, we can see some pretty incredible stuff being built on top of the ecosystem that Bored Ape is building. The real fun is when we get to see exactly what Metaverse that Yuga Labs is trying to build. It's hard to bet against Yuga Labs when this company has provided value to their holders time and time again. With the recent development with their own token, I gotta say, this company is gonna go very, very far. One of the most impressive features of the team is how focused they are on the community. JPEG traders have been rewarded time and time again just for hodling their apes. Owners enjoy their apes so much that it has come to a point where it has became part of their identity, as one user stated on Twitter. Giving users the rights back to the NFTs that they own only strengthens the NFTs as well as the community. It's hard to bet against Yuga Labs, especially when they continue to provide value to their holders. The metaverse is still in its infancy, however, it's becoming more and more competitive by the day. With the recent acquisition of the Activision by Microsoft, we're going to see some big things happening in the metaverse. If any of these companies want to succeed, it's going to be dependent upon the users. And right now, the community loves Board Ape Yacht Club. It will be interesting to see whether or not Facebook or Microsoft decide that they want to acquire one of these NFT projects. Although I doubt the communities would allow that to happen, the capital these companies have would allow them to purchase some type of NFT project to help build their native metaverse. With Microsoft's recent acquisition of Activision, the creator of Call of Duty, I think it would be amazing if we could see NFT skins in the games that we play. I get it, it's hard to understand NFTs if you're not well versed in crypto. However, it's very similar to the internet. Like this example of Bill Gates giving an interview in 1995 about the internet. What about this internet thing? Do you, do you know anything about that? Sure. <laughs> what, what the hell is that exactly? Well, it's, it's become a place where people are publishing information. Right. So you, everybody can have their own homepage. Companies are there, the latest information. It's wild what's going on. You can send electronic mail to people. 
uh, it is the big new thing. It's becoming increasingly clear that people want to own NFTs and use them. And gaming is the easiest way to get people involved. People are still trying to grasp the idea of blockchain. However, in the future, it's going to be very easy for people to get involved. So don't stress, but if you would like to learn more, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below whether or not you like or dislike NFTs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Continue on to this video to learn how you can get involved in crypto.